the best way to crucify the flesh is to starve the flesh one may ask man of god how can one starve the flesh this is how you can starve the flesh by not responding to its promptings now listen to me very 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 carefully the flesh is something that you keep fighting until you get your resurrected body all that i'm trying to tell you is this you can use one day to crucify the flesh it is an ongoing process a bible quotation to this reality is romans chapter 8 verses 13 move there quickly romans chapter 8 verses 13 i'm reading from the new king james version the bible says for if you live according to the flesh you will die but if by the spirit you put to death the deeds of the body you will live i want you to take note of the verb put to death in the bible quotation we just finished written the verb put to death is a present action that means the flesh is something that you will always have to fight until you get your resurrected body all that i'm trying to tell you is this you can't win the battle against the flesh in one day it's an ongoing process that means if you manage through the grace of god to subdue the flesh which is to crucify the flesh you must make sure you don't give room for fleshly lust fleshly desires or the appeals of the flesh to draw your personality into its domain the moment you allow it to draw your personality into its domain it will be very difficult for you to live in purity or live after the ordinance of god at this point of the message i want us to look at what one must do to starve his or her flesh number one you must put a guard on your mind you must put a guard on your mind now listen to me very 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 carefully who you are today is a function of your mind in other words your personality is the expression of the contents and then the working of your mind proverbs chapter 23 verse 7 the bible says as a man thinketh, so is he that means if you allow your mind to be dominated with corruption your outward appearance or personality shall begin to walk in the path of corruption so with this truth at the back of your mind i can boldly say a deceived mind is a deceived life if your mind is deceived your outward body will express deception hallelujah again a mind that is polluted with fornication lust will definitely produce fornication or lust this is why you must protect your mind all i'm trying to tell you is this do not allow your mind to become a rubbish can where the devil dams his nonsense into protect your mind diligently why your life can never and ever be different from the content as well as the workings of your mind remember i told you if the mind is pivoted towards the direction known as deception the personality will also follow the bible says as a man thinketh, so is he that means wherever the mind goes the personality also follow so if you tune your mind into the direction known as the fear of the lord your personality will soon live a life that brings glory unto god this is what the devil will do everything within his possible best to make sure that your mind does not travel into the dimension of god he will do everything within his power to make sure that your mind will travel into the dimension of worrying your mind will travel into the dimension of wickedness evil 
and not into the dimension of God. Why the devil knows wherever the mind goes, the personality follows. So if it should allow you to allow your mind to be dominated by the word of God, very soon your personality will become an expression of the word of God. Hallelujah. So put a guard on your mind. Do not allow your mind to become a refuse dump or a rubbish can where the devil dumps his nonsense in. Hallelujah. Now listen to me very, very carefully. You may not be able to control what comes into your sphere of existence. I'm talking about the worst challenges that comes into your domain of existence. You may not be able to control them. But you may be able to control what gets into you. What gets into you. So do not allow the devil's nonsense to get into you. If you are lying in the room alone and then the devil starts showing you pictures of naked women in your mind. Do not allow those pictures to dominate over your entire being. All I'm trying to tell you is this. Do not entertain such pictures. The moment you entertain such pictures, you will soon find yourself lasting after women. So put a guard on your mind. And the best way you can put a guard on your mind is to allow the word of God to dominate over your mind. In other words, to take charge of your mind. When the word of God takes charge of your mind, you will start thinking the thoughts of God. This is what the Bible says in Philippians, that that which is righteous, that which is just, that which is pure, we should let our mind stay focused on them. God bless you greatly for staying tuned to today's telecast. I'll be bringing you the part two of this message, God willing, next week. But what I want you to do is please make sure you put a guard on your mind. I pray for you hearing the sound of my voice. If the devil has planted a seed of deception, lust, evil into your mind, the Lord by all the power for which is known to be God, liberate the totality of your personality from such seeds in the name of Jesus. I release the word of God into all dimension of your being. The word of God began to lighten your thought life, begin to lighten your mind, begin to lighten your will, begin to lighten the totality of your being. I pray for you that the power embedded in the word of God and then the life embedded in the word of God take total dominion over your entire being. Be energized with the energies of the word. Be strengthened with the strength of the word. Be clothed with the garment of the word in the name of Jesus. From today, I declare and decree by the power of the word and then the power embedded in the name of Jesus. Your mind be liberated from satanic bondage in the name of Jesus. Receive grace to reflect on God. Grace to reflect on the word of God. Grace to reflect on things that are lovely. On things that are just. On things that are holy. On things that that are pure receive that grace in the name of jesus you are blessed in jesus name wherever you're hearing the sound of my voice say the word of god is at work in me and by the power of the word of god at work in me i am living the victorious life destined for me in the death and resurrection of jesus say i declare and decree that the life embedded in the word of god begin to lighten every organ of my being bringing every organ of my being that is dead back to life in the name of jesus say god let the power embedded in your word clothe my destiny with the glory of the word with the beauty of the word with the treasures of the word in the name of jesus
So God bless you greatly for staying tuned to this beautiful and then spirit inspired uh, service. It is my prayer that God will touch you wherever you are, hearing the sound of my voice with the power and then the spirit of holiness, so as you can live a holy life unto the Lord. Please do well to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, do well to uh, like my Facebook page. God bless you greatly. I love you all. Till we meet next week, same time which I'll be bringing you the part two of this very message. Stay under the anointing and be blessed in a unique way. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.